Today, I'm going to take you through the image to video tools here at pixeldojo.ai and show you what they're all about. Now, the first thing to take note of is we've got a lot of different models, and these are all designed to take a still image and convert it into an AI video. Really cool stuff. We've got a number of models here. You can see Minimax, Minimax 01 Live. This is more for, let's say, anime or animation type of videos. You've got Hyper 2. You've got Runway Gen 3, Kling Pro 1.5, and the recently released 1.6, and then Luma Ray. Now, in order to get started, the first place we want to go is to generate an image if you don't already have one. And to do that, we can go over to the Create tab on the left-hand menu, and you can see a number of different image generators here. We've got the Flux Image Creator, which uses all the Flux models, Recraft, Luma Photon, Stable Diffusion 3.5, Stable Diffusion XL, and if you go down to the Experimental tab, there are even more. Now, for today, I'm going to start with Flux Image Creator, just because I love the way that Flux Images typically look. I'm going to collapse the menu, and then we're going to jump over here, and I'm just going to select Flux Pro 1.1 as my model that we're going to use for the image, and we're going to say, a dragon eating a bowl of pasta. I take my image slider and I'm going to select four images to generate just because I want a little bit of variety. And you can see it's already generating all four images and they're done that quickly. I really love actually this one, I think. So we'll go ahead and click on save. This one's kind of neat. It's like a little childish, devilish cartoon guy. I don't know. And uh, we'll save this one. We'll just save all four. Why not? Now what happens when you save these? You have two options. You can either download these to your PC, then they're never saved on my computer or my systems, or you can click on this Save button, and they get saved to the My Media section. And you can see that here, and here's all those images that we just saved. Optionally, you can come in here, and you can also click this toggle, and it makes these publicly accessible. And what I mean by that is you can go over to the community gallery and anybody can see the images that you've generated if you have them toggled to public. So that's not necessary for us to use this with the image to video tools, but I thought it was worth calling out. So now we're going to jump back down to image to video, collapse that main menu again, and we're going to go ahead and select a model. I'm going to start with Kling Pro 1.6 just because it's really high quality. I love the way it puts out the videos that it does. And to give us a little bit of the lay of the land, in this middle section you've got where your video is going to actually be generated just like you did on the other image models and the other image tools. You've got this section here to upload an image. Now you can click on this and upload an image from your own computer or PC or you can grab one another way and I'll show you that in a second. Motion description, this is your prompt area. This is where you describe what you want to actually animate in the movie. It doesn't have to be describing the exact image or the details in the image, but more the motion of what you'd like to see. And then finally, we've got a couple other things, duration, so five seconds or 10 seconds. That depends on the model. Some models only allow five seconds. And then the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is mostly controlled by the image that you use. So we want to make sure that we're using, a, let's say, a 16 by 9 image or a 9 by 16 if we wanted to do YouTube Shorts or TikTok. So in my case, let's go ahead and grab one of these recent images that I've created, and we'll go ahead and go with, let's say, this one. You can see it's processing the image, image processed. So we've got that over here. And we can, for the motion description, just say, a dragon eating a bowl of pasta. Click on Generate, and you can see creating your video. Now, this is worth noting. Some of these models only take a few seconds to generate a video, while others take 8 minutes, 10 minutes plus. So you want to stick on this page. If you want to go off and do some other things, some other workflows, you absolutely can, but just leave this tab open. Another thing to note, a lot of these models are closed source, meaning we have no insights into what they allow and don't allow as far as content is considered. So some of these do have difficulty generating, not say for work content, or say images of celebrities, that sort of thing. So you might get some errors in some cases where it'll tell you that it didn't pass the content moderation filters or your prompt had an issue. That's the reason why. And there's nothing we can actually do about that, unfortunately, but we at least give you the feedback and let you know the reason behind it. 
as much as the models tell us. And here we have our generated video. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Click on the play button and you can see we've got a dragon that's eating a bowl of pasta. That actually looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna play that again just to take a second look. He's getting a mouthful. We've come so far. If you think about the Will Smith videos that we had before of him eating a bowl of spaghetti, this is so much better, like night and day. So really cool. And again, you can either download it directly to your PC, you can click on save, or there's this other really cool option, save and add sound. And let's go ahead and do the save and add sound as one final thing here. So you can see we're on video to sound. This is one more tool that's built into Pixel Dojo over 20 generative AI tools here. And this one, you can see it's already added the video and you can do a sound description or you can just leave it blank and let it try to guess what sounds should be there based on analyzing the frames of the video. Let's go ahead and let it come up with its own thing. We'll leave the rest of the fields here completely untouched and we'll just click on generate. This should be pretty interesting. And now it's generating the audio that's gonna be paired with our video. Let's see what it came up with. That's actually pretty cool. You've got kind of this like hissing sound and like chomping at the very beginning. So pretty cool. We can go ahead and save that again. And we're going to jump over to my media and I'm just going to go ahead and make these public, both the video and the MM audio, the video with the sound. So you can check those out in the public community gallery. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, if you're in the middle of image to video, you have any questions, jump into my Discord. There's a link in the bottom left of the menu on every single page, and you can join the Discord. Huge community there. We can all help you out. You can also go down to the bottom right-hand corner here. You see this little chat bubble, and I've got this AI help and support tool. If it can't help you, you can click on speak to a human agent. It sends me a text message and I'll start chatting with you right away. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, issues, concerns, always here to help. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.